Well, good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you, Mr. Minister, and, and your entire Nigerian delegation to Washington, D.C. The foreign minister and I just completed a very productive conversation on how to continue to strengthen the economic and security ties between our two nations. This is a real priority for us in the Trump administration in Africa because Nigeria is Africa's most populous democracy and its largest economy. On that note, let me begin and talk about our economic cooperation. Nigeria is already America's second largest trading partner in Africa. U.S. companies from Google to Chevron to KPMG invested over a billion dollars in Nigeria in 2018 alone, creating over 18,000 jobs and indirectly supporting three million others. It's what American companies do. It's what we do all over the world every day, and they do it in a spirit of transparency and partnerships with the host nations. Foreign Minister and I discussed how we can tighten our trade ties even further, including infrastructure investment, embracing free market policies that attract capital, private capital, ensuring consistent enforcement of the law, and doubling down on any corruption efforts are the surest way to grow prosperity in Nigeria and all across the region. And we're pleased, too, that President Buhari has prioritized that fight against corruption. In support of that fight, I'm announcing today that the United States and Nigeria have signed an agreement to return to the Nigerian people more than $308 million in assets stolen by a former dictator. Now I'll turn to our security cooperation, which has also been expanding. Case in point, Nigeria's recent $500 million purchase of 12 U.S.-made A-29 aircraft. This supports President Buhari's recently stated goal of creating a security force with the best training and modern weaponry. He also pledged that those forces will be held to the highest standards of respect for human rights. The United States will hold Nigeria to that pledge and will help you achieve it. The United States has already invested in the training of Nigeria's military on human rights and the law of armed conflict. Nigeria was one of the first African nations to join the global coalition to defeat ISIS. America is now supporting the Nigerian fight against ISIS's larger global, global affiliate, ISIS West Africa, a dangerous threat to both of our countries. In part due to this terrorism threat, on Friday, President Trump announced the suspension of immigrant visas for Nigerians because Nigeria has room to grow in sharing important national security information. I'm optimistic that's going to happen. In the proclamation, President Trump highlighted Nigeria's importance as a strategic partner in the global fight against terrorism and recognized the government's commitment to improving information sharing with us. The foreign minister I also discussed today the massive humanitarian crisis that the conflict with Boko Haram and ISIS West Africa and other religious and ethnic violence. We know that these issues are hard. We know that they're complicated. But I strongly encourage the Nigerian government to do more to protect its civilians, including religious communities, and the humanitarian organizations seeking to assist them. To aid in this effort, I'm pleased to announce today an additional $40 million in humanitarian assistance to Nigeria, adding to the nearly $350 million that we provided last year. In closing, I want to thank you for being here with me today, for joining us with a big delegation to work to address all of these important opportunities that our two nations have between us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Secretary. <clears throat>